What you can see are all the really impressive things behind the house, and one of those is, is the drywall. The drywall is 95% recycled drywall. That's the paper and the gypsum which is on the inside, so it's 95% recycled. The paint which is on the outside is 100% recycled paint, low VOC, water-based paint. So you can go to any building store and buy this similar paint right now without any problem. The wood inside the house is about 85% FSC certified. Um, all the lighting in the house is compact fluorescent, except for what's in the kitchen, which is quartz halogen. So we want to demonstrate that opportunity around that. So there are lots of uh, things which, are, uh, which you can't see, which are in the walls and on the walls, uh, which are very, very sustainable. The other thing that's behind that drywall is the structure of the building. This building uses advanced framing. And what that means is that it's, it's typical stick framing housing, but instead of being every 16 inches on center, the wood is on every 24 inches on center. And by doing that, we reduce the amount of wood to build this house by about 20%. This house here has 24 inches on center, uh, two by six walls, which is typical in today's construction. We filled that six inches with six inches of Roxol insulation. And Roxol is a really unique insulation product because it's made from recycled slag. Slag is a recycled material from uh, uh, iron ore, and they, they basically spin it into a, an insulated bat, which has one of the highest R values around, is about R24 for the six inches. Code requires that a house have R20. Most houses have all these studs that go from the inside to the outside, so they're called thermal bridges. And so actually they have a, a, a less of an R value than the insulation which is directly behind them. By putting that insulation around, all around the outside, basically what you do is you uh, basically stop that thermal bridge uh, from happening and it makes the house a much more insulated envelope. 